Pinnacle live here on the red carpet for Nate Parker and Hill Harper's annual toy drive. Hey guys, he needs no introduction, but of course I'm going to do one. Mr. Nate Parker, how are you? I'm great. I'm fantastic. Look like we have a good showing, so hopefully we got some toys for the kids. So. Yeah, the turnout is absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you. Why was it important for you to attach yourself to such a great cause, giving back to the kids? Well, this is our eighth year doing this. You know, Hill and I started back when we were just in a pub having people show up for Toys for Tot, and we decided to just do our own thing and to branch out. And each year we break the records that we set the year before. So it's important that we recognize in the town where we take so much as artists that we wrangle everyone together so they can give back to people that are less fortunate. You know, and specifically what one of the, the, the people we give to, one of the places, is, um, is, is right here in Los Angeles. It's a rescue mission for women that are either homeless because they've been abused or homeless because they've been on hard times. So we want to make sure that kids in this community, in our community, you know, don't go without Christmas. Right. And you've had a really a great amount of success in the industry. I think you have a really big film coming up next year. I have a film coming out, The Birth of a Nation. will come out 2016. We are, we're going to be premiering in Sundance in January. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm here with the founder of Hollywood Unlocked, Jason Lee. You know him from your favorite reality show, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. How are you? I am. Now that I'm talking to you and her, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, and you are looking very, very dapper. Your style is off the chain. Who inspires you? Um, honestly, Instagram. Like, low-key, my friend in New York, Lee, he's really big on fashion, and he's been helping me. This brand, uh, I think the Star Status uh, Clothing reached out to me, and I just love the way it feels so now I'm really starting to get into this thing because I'm from Stockton California if you know Stockton like we got cows and grass so we just like hop out the bed throwing some jeans a t-shirt and some chucks but I'm learning in Hollywood you got to step it up a little bit so now I'm getting skinnier too I can like fit it so yeah I'm, 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 I'm out here we love it we see you on the red carpet I mean you've been doing a lot of press a lot of events your name is definitely out there why was it important to come out tonight to attach your company to such a great cause a toy drive for the children I love that question because I, I don't attach my name or my company to a lot of things I was a foster child growing up so for five years and so you know oftentimes I remember feeling like people forget you you know so the fact that we can come out use our platforms however big they are to do good and to be able to bring toys like this cute dog for a kid who may not necessarily get you know get a gift this year is really really important and the fact that Hill Harper is so inspiring has been doing this consistently every year is um, I, I of course it was it was a no-brainer when they asked me to be a part I'm here with a beautiful model actress Miss Tatina how are you I'm doing well tonight Thank you are doing well and you are looking absolutely amazing can we get a full uh, up and down length on this dress I mean, you better work it. And who are we wearing tonight? I'm wearing Michael Costello, actually. I'll be modeling for him, his runway show tomorrow in downtown LA. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. So you are you are a great face, a great figure. Why has modeling inspired you? And I mean, you've got the body for it, but what's made you really want to come out here and go after your dreams? Well, for me, you know, actually being a chocolate sister, you know, so I have to represent for the chocolate sisters, you know. But I've also learned that modeling isn't just just modeling it's a role model situation you know and the way you live and the way you show things and and today we live with a, a, a ton of women that are belittling themselves you know and not really holding themselves to a higher standard so I'm here to represent women to hold themselves to the higher standard you know and I love it and you're wearing all red the perfect color for the Christmas theme we're here for the toy drive for Hill Harper's annual toy drive why was it important to come in and be a part of something and giving back to the children well I give back all the time I do a a lot of things for the homelessness here in LA, also in other part of the states of the U.S. Um, but I also um, I have my own foundation for domestic abuse and disadvantaged children. So for me, I love children. I love giving back. It's so many children here in LA that I need a lot of help. So being part of this event is a dream come true for me. You know, I'm here with celebrity stylist EJ King. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really, really good. A lot of people know you. You're in tons of pictures on Instagram with Chris Brown. You're you're his stylist. What do you got going on for yourself? Well, I have a show coming out on BET called About the Business, which comes out February 23rd. We just got it. So that, and I have a collaboration coming out with Cross Colors okay. that I'm excited about. I love it. And why was it important for you to come out tonight for such a great cause? 
You know what it is? I have four younger brothers, and so to be able to give back to kids that don't have anything and be able to, it doesn't cost us much to give back, and I think that you take it for granted. So I heard this is his, his is eighth year, and so I think it's amazing to give back. I know that we're planning on doing the um, Children's Hospital and just giving time, because it, it, it costs nothing to give your time. So I love it, and as far as fashion is concerned, because that's the genre that you're in, who are some of your fashion icons that you look up to? Wow, I love, I just love innovative people. I love everybody from Pharrell. I love, I mean, even dressing Chris. Chris is easy because he would, I'll lay an outfit out and he'll remix it how he wants. And I love that he has his own sense of style. And so it's from your Chris Browns. It's from even from James Brown. It's just, I love old school. I love when people just took their style and ran with it and owned what they were doing. She's a talented actress that goes by the name Sierra Payton on Days of Our Lives is where you may have seen her lately. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very good. So glad to see you out here on the red carpet tonight. What brought you out? What made you really want to come? You know, honestly, I, I'm just, I'm thrilled to be able to, to give back because I was one of those kids growing up in New Orleans in the Third Ward, and I had to, many Christmases, go to charities and nonprofit organizations and pick out my toys for Christmas. And so that was a really big part of my growing up, and it's, it's just a pleasure to be able to be somewhere where I can actually give those toys to kids. So. Right. So children out there, if you are going through it, if you're struggling, know that just keep the faith and keep the hope and go after your dreams because you can make it on TV and can start. Yeah. Like Miss Peyton here. He's fly. He's talented. You know him as Booby Gibson. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Booby, you are making some waves in the music industry. Tell me about, I think you have a single coming out? Yeah, yeah. I got a single coming out. It's called you mean, I don't know if y'all can say that on here, but it's just me getting to the point where a lot of people don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it out of love and out of passion. And so my next record is going to be a record that displays that. And at the top of the year, I'm dropping my first body of work. I'm so excited for people to see what I've been working on for all this time. So a lot of hours in the studio, right? A lot of hours. I treat it just like I did when I was playing basketball. I don't I don't cut no corners. I work, I work countless hours in the studio. I respect music. So I think the people will feel that when I drop. I love it. And why was it important for you to come out tonight for an initiative to get back to the kids? Because this is what it's all about for me. Um, being in a position where I can bless other people is why I feel like I'm here. And so when I heard about this event, I was one of the first ones to get in line. And I brought a bunch of gifts for the kids. This is why I do what I do to be able to give back to people who might not, who poor are a little less fortunate. Well, I love it. If you're blessed, then it's your job to be a blessing, right? That is exactly right. Well, Okay, guys, I have here on the red carpet a great, great, talented writer, Mr. Buddy Lewis. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm a comic. I'm an actor. I do voiceovers. That's for anybody out there that needs me. If you got a check and I don't have to embarrass my mama, I'll be there. If it makes money, it makes sense. So, guys, go after him because obviously he's written Real Husbands of Hollywood. So funny, so talented. So his work definitely speaks for itself. Why was it important for you to come out today to support such a great cause? Listen, you know, there are a lot of children out here that are less fortunate they don't have somebody to bring them a toy or bring them some love during the holiday season so we're just trying to make sure that one child just if there's one child out there that can get a toy and and, and feel some love that's what we're trying to do